y'all. Back out in the uh, hammock lab zone and uh, working. I've been working or finished up uh, the bedroll ground tarp that I made for my uh, wool blanket overnight. And here it is. And uh, roughly no long enough for me. So it's a ground tarp. So it's a ground tarp. Trigger, sit down. Down. It's a ground tarp. It is uh, no long enough for me to, to lay on just the ground tarp. And for the bushcraft um, for the for the wool blanket overnight, I made this this other piece of cloth to it so it would be a, a bedroll uh, this is what I had for that that overnight that I did uh, I was made out of Cordura 200 Cordura uh, definitely got a burn hole in it from that night but what I've done I've gone a little bit further so now I want to show you what we can do So now in each corner, for each end, I sewed in a channel. So this is the short end, so there's a channel there, and then there's a channel that runs down the length, then a channel on that end, then a channel that runs down the whole length there. And now I will show you why. And I did put grommets at the corner of the pullover part, and then a grommet grommet on the inside right there. So let me start so setting it up. It just a plain old tarp uh, lean-to mode. So this is the, the regular bed roll area or ground tarp area. This is the over tarp area. So there you go. You just got your basic tarp set up. So here we have the ground mat tarp configuration. And this is all waterproof. Trigger, get out of the way. Trigger set. So this is the uh, ground mat uh, here, lean to tarp. This is all be tightened up, but got lots to show. All right, now here we have the uh, little rain fly over the top. Still plenty of room in here. Um, this is where I was thinking it might be kind of fun to make it even, add even more onto it, make it more of a Wayland lean when I get it fully configured. I have some side flaps and things like that, so your basic setup. I guess you're using this one, most definitely. So let's try another one. So I really don't have the uh, stuff because I'm just here in my backyard hammock. But uh, here I put the uh, put two long poles down the side channels, and then on the other side, and so that would make a cot. So that uh, and you could definitely use uh, wise. Hold on a sec. So yeah, so you can definitely use a Y. Uh, pound that into the ground. And then you can make it as, as level as you want. Uh, definitely want to get a Y that's pretty strong. It's got a nice straight shot because this will be the pounding end. But um, so that would be the the cod, or you could put it on a log and stake it out. You could just lift it up somehow and stake them separated. But there you've got a cod. So that's uh, another one. All right, let's do another one. Alright, let's try that again. 
again. There you go. I've got to stop playing with my my newest thing that I'm working on, but um, got to go back to work. I thought you guys might uh, like to see kind of the development when I'm working on different projects of where I am. I think, um, especially on that one, I got that from so Dave um, Canterbury and Duluth Trading. They got together and they made something very similar to that. Um, I've added my own twist to it, of course, but it's something that. Uh, Horse Kephart had come up with, and so um, definitely finding out that Cordura is a little stretcher than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be a little tighter, and uh, probably get some tighter, more static line. Um, and then the the sticks I was using in the end for the for the hammock part, um, there for my cooking tripod over the fire, and I need to cut some down that are actually the right length and notch them. Um, I was using a clove hitch notch and maybe work on that a little bit. That seemed to slip and adjust too much. So I'll keep working on it, but I thought you guys might enjoy um, seeing Bruce working away <laughs> on his ideas. So uh, take care. Talk to y'all later. Bye.